Hello, all my lovely water signs. Welcome to your next 48 hours. This is going to be a general reading for each of the signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Please take the parts that resonate for you and leave the parts that don't. And if nothing resonates at all in your sun sign, check your other placements or my older readings, okay? Um, I have timestamps down below so you can jump to wherever you need to go in this uh, in this reading, okay? Please do uh, give me a like, share, or subscribe, and or all three if you really like this and it resonates for you, okay guys? And I'm going to get started on uh, Cancer first, okay? So Cancer, hello. It's great to see you. Thank you for being here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back, fam. It's good to see you. All right, let's take a look at your overall energy, please. Overall energy for Cancer. Overall energy of this reading. Thank you. The Queen of Cups. I like this. Okay, I like the Queen of Cups for you. This is talking about self-care, loving the self, and actually being in love, okay? Nurturing the self or other people. Let's talk about Cancer and their overall energy. Four of Cups. Mm. So what are we focused on here, okay? Four of Cups can be feeling emotionally distant, wanting something, uh, but being focused someplace completely else. Maybe you're just deep in your feelings about something to the point where you're not noticing somebody else's feelings. We'll see. This could be you or somebody else, okay? What's the challenge for Cancer right now? The King of Cups. Ooh, maybe you and Boo Thing are getting into it here, okay? Maybe Boo Thing don't understand you. They're not hearing you. They're not. They're focused on something else, and you're just like, focus on me. Look at the cup right here. Focus on me, <laughs> right, Cancer? All right, let's talk about the near future or the potential outcome. What's the outcome? What's the outcome? Ooh, setting boundaries, maybe standing your ground about what you need or what you want here. Okay, Cancer, so let's dive in and see really what's up, okay? All right. How was your season, Cancer? I'm a Leo. I wouldn't know what Cancer season's like because I just anticipate getting Leo season. I just had my birthday uh, yesterday, actually. Um, but by the time I think this reading might be up, I think I'm putting these up Friday, so it will have been on Tuesday. So, but I do love me some Cancers. I have some really good Cancer friends. All right, here we go. What about this Queen of Cups? Talk to me about this Queen of Cups and clarify this for me. Oh, there's some sort of heartbreak here, okay? There could have been some sort of argument. Somebody's being a damn ice queen or king here. This isn't good, okay? Something popped off here, and now somebody's like, do I even want this fool? Shit, okay? Yeah, for real, all right? Someone got hurt here because somebody might have said some nasty kind of direct stuff. What else with this Queen of Cups? Somebody's definitely in their feelings over it and feeling really hurt. Oh boy. Um, some of y'all could have been drinking or you're going to be drinking and you're going to have an argument here in the next 48 hours. I'm saying you, we might have, I'm talking in the past tense. I need to get my head into the future. Okay. Sorry guys, my bad. So I'm seeing an argument popping off here. It could be about, a. Uh, like a gathering that you guys went to maybe there is some sort of third party here because we do have three of cups and the three of swords somebody could be finding this out and they are very very upset about it okay so there's an argument ensuing here all right why is this four of cups here please why is this four of cups here yeah somebody's um somebody may want a formal separation here Okay, with the Justice card, Libra Energy. We also have the Eight of Swords. This talks about being in your head and being in a self-imposed prison. But um, I'm really feeling like somebody just feels stuck and trapped. They might want to get out, but they they there might be something that's holding them to this connection. What's this Four of Cups, please? Yeah, two, two of Cups. Somebody might feel like this is such a deep connection. There's so much vested in here. There's so much time, okay? But I feel as if that there's somebody who is um, is missing it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
they missed their opportunity here and now this is this is maybe coming to an end or coming to a close. I almost feel like somebody doesn't want to do this, but they might, okay? I think there could be a formal separation happening. Yeah, there's a whole family. There could be houses, property, a lot of things involved in this connection. So somebody is really going to be in their head about whether or not they're going to move forward. They're thinking about the memories and all the good things that you all created, okay? Why is the King of Cups the challenge? Because this motherfucker stabbed you in the back they hurt you and it's been happening for a long time you might find out for a long time that somebody's been doing something behind your back okay maybe possibly there was a third party since i have the three of cups and the three of swords as i said but it could be anything they could have been a laundry and money or some crazy shit behind your back i don't know what it is but what i do know is that this is an end to a long time of being hurt by somebody but it's a challenge because you love this person okay yep walking away it's hard to walk away when you love a person okay but this person may have somebody here may have already emotionally abandoned this or left the building why else the king of cups please yeah okay yeah there's still love there's still romance there's there's still there's still a lot here and that's why this is challenging to walk away from or to separate from okay so i see a big conversation about this why is the seven of wands here in the near future as the outcome the seven of cups it's very confusing trying to stand your ground and let a bitch know but there's a lot to think about. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of assets. Okay. So trying to get clear and not see this. You may be having a lot of people trying to talk to you or one person here supporting you. You could even be pregnant at this time. Um, but I feel like. I feel like you're getting clear that you're worth more. All right, but this is very hard because there's a lot of things to, to like separate with this person. What else? What else in the future? What else here? Yeah, somebody may decide that they're not ready yet to separate from this, okay? There may be wanting to heal it with the Empress and figure things out even though they're very confusing. The challenge could be that um, your person may want to renew the vows here. They're telling you like, let's renew our vows. Let's do this over again. I still love you. I don't want to give up on this, okay? I feel like that might be what's happening here. But it's going to feel very confusing about what you should be doing, okay? But I feel as if, like, you know, um, a decision is, is being made. Or it's going to have to be made, okay? It's almost like if a decision isn't made, one's going to be made for you. So you're going to have to stand up for yourself here, okay? What else, please? Adjudication, yeah. Looks like there may be some papers that somebody's getting served with or some sort of court here. Okay, Cancer. I'm really sorry, but you know what? Listen, I'm not one of those people that sugarcoats readings. I read it like, like it's supposed to be read, okay? Why do we have the adjudication? It doesn't have to be about this connection, but it feels like it is. Yep, somebody cheated here. Somebody lied. And um, with the star card, somebody is hopeful that having the proof here, having the actual proof, because I feel like there's proof of it, right? With the Ace of Swords, with um, the Justice card, you know, I feel like this too with the Seven of Cups. This is having a lot of information to give to people to say, A, hey, when they go to the lawyer, A, hey, I have proof that this person was talking to another person they were cheating there's you know the proof is in the pudding okay there's some secrets coming out here is what i feel all right guys so that's what i have for you cancer i'm sorry like i hate being the bearer of bad news but also this is a 48 hour read this is what i'm getting in this 48 hours from whenever you see this okay so 
Um, that's what I got for you guys. If it is resonating, tell me your story. Comment down below. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye, Cancer. Hey, Scorpio. How are you? This is going to be your general reading for the next 48. Please remember, feel free to reverse the roles. Take what resonates for you and leave the parts that don't. Okay, so let's get an overall energy of this reading right now for you overall energy of this reading ooh ooh everybody got something to say don't they there's a lot of jealous people around you um there could be people also uh getting you might be getting into some beef with okay there could be a, 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 you know, a lot of people giving you a lot of opinions that you're not necessarily asking for either. Talk to me about Scorpio, please. Give me Scorpio's energy right now. Ace of Cups. There could be some healing that's happening here, uh, but this feels like there is some sort of new love or a new opportunity at love here. We'll see. It could be an emotional fulfilling something that happens. We'll see what it is when we clarify. What's the challenge for Scorpio? Okay, <laughs> the Nine of Cups overindulging in something. It might be too much of a good thing. Okay, and what's the outcome or the near future? Outcome or the near future? Ten of Swords. I don't like that. What the hell? What is that about? We'll see. Okay, it could be somebody hurting you or backstabbing you here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens by the end of this 48 hours. All right. Whoa. Okay. Why is this Five of Wands here, please, for Scorpio? Why is this Five of Wands here? Ooh, I feel like somebody comes at you sideways, okay? Knight of Swords, King of Swords. You're having to put somebody in their place in a, in a, and you're not being an asshole about it. I feel like somebody's coming for you you know what I'm saying whether it's in your comments or this is just whatever okay somebody's got a lot of opinions and they want to like do they want to act irrationally okay somebody's acting real irrational around you and it, I feel like you're getting into an argument because they're saying something okay they've said something to you what else please could be Aquarius Libra Gemini we have the sun, though. This is Leo energy. What else, please, with this five of wands? Okay. Um, five of swords. So, yeah, somebody, you could be finding out that somebody was playing like they're your friend here. Like, you know, uh, Leo energy. But I have a lot of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. So, I feel that it could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini as well. Excuse me. Scorpio, I'm trying to scoot up here. Um, I feel like somebody was doing things behind your back or being selfish. I honestly feel like somebody was like trying to, um, they could be, they could have been trying to take advantage of you too. Okay. Like, because you're a good person, you have a good heart, but I also feel like maybe stealing your ideas and stuff. Okay trying to perpetrate like you like be like you or something like that there's a lot of like jealousy okay why do we have this ace of cups some of you are getting hurt by somebody what is this ten of swords two of swords what is this it's weird it's so like contradictory the energy the energy is like really beautiful but I feel like Somebody's giving their energy, their time, their heart here, but they're getting hurt. Even as they're trying to protect themselves, it's like you're getting hurt by something here. Or somebody's getting hurt by something. What's this Ace of Cups? Maybe it's a trying again. Yeah, there's a block happening here. Wheel of Fortune. This is bad luck in love. You could feel like you have bad luck when it comes to love here. 
Scorpio, like you always get hurt, you always get stuck with somebody who's betraying you. You might be feeling that energy a lot right now. I feel like you could have met somebody here recently with this Ace of Cups, and you're kind of maybe a little bit in doom and gloom about it, okay? Feeling stuck. Like, do you really want to give it a shot with this person? It kind of always ends up the same, all right? Mm -hmm. Why is the Nine of Cups here as the challenge? Why is the Nine of Cups the challenge? You may feel that people want you because you have something to offer. Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, you could uh, be like famous or maybe you have something, you know, like you're a model. You could be on Instagram and have like, you know, you're a bikini model or you're some guy who's got like hot cars or some shit. I feel like the challenge is that you have some sort of clout and, and you're clear that people want what you have. Okay, Scorpio. So that's a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. People may have a motive to try to uh, run over you a little bit. <sighs> Cancer energy here. The challenge is, is that you may block people from getting close to you or getting to know you because of that, okay? Because people end up hurting you or because people tend to have these ulterior motives. They use you for whatever it is that you do, your your ideas. I see you maybe finding out about that, about somebody here, okay? Or experiencing that or having like an aha moment with it. What's this Ten of Swords again as the outcome in the near future? nine of cups what the hell you're getting something the hard way you're getting something you want the hard way empress in reverse queen of cups in reverse somebody's there's some emotional manipulation going on here but guys i feel like this is like you're not going to feel confident about something again it's this it's this scenario of I feel like you're meeting somebody here, okay, like somebody's coming along, but you're kind of in doom and gloom because you experience that you have something that people want, so it makes it difficult for you to connect emotionally with people because you end up fulfilling them and, and you're left feeling empty at the end of the day, okay? So in the near future here or this outcome of you meeting this person, um, I feel like because you're going to be closed off uh, and it's going to be more important for you to feel to like feel good in yourself you're going to be emotionally closed off to this person and there might be this is going to be short-lived okay it's going to be a fun time for a short time is what i'm getting here okay and please take it as it resonates this could actually be somebody that you are um, coming across and they might they might be somebody with some clout they could be famous here with the six of wands they could be internet famous they could be famous famous they could be an actor or some performer or something like that and this person is so used to just going through the same old same old they want it but they're they won't open up all the way because they feel as if that like a lot a lack of power um that people don't nurture or foster anything from the relationships people just want to use them and take advantage of them okay so i'm getting that but it's it's a double-edged sword because it's like and i also want what i want and i want to be happy right but it comes at this great expense of having to open up when you're afraid to do that okay what other messages do I have here? What other message do I have for Scorpio, please? What other message for Scorpio? Okay, we have the message here. This is the message card coming through. Let's see what the message is that somebody wants to give you. What's the message here, please, for Scorpio? What's this message about? Oh, this could be about you getting reciprocity, some money or something that's owed to you. Somebody may want to give you something that um, they didn't give you before, okay? Or they owed to you because they never gave you enough, okay? So I see you getting back something that you deserved to have back, 
all right? That's what I got for you, Scorpio. Thank you so, so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. If this did resonate for you at all, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Pisces. How are you? It's great to see you. This is going to be your general 48-hour reading. Please take the parts that resonate for you and leave the parts that don't. And definitely feel free to flip and reverse the roles. I could be saying you, 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 and this could be somebody else's energy and feelings, okay, or drama or whatever comes up, all right? So let's take a look at the overall energy of the reading for you, Pisces, the next 48 hours. We have the death card, Scorpionic energy, so there could be a, a definite ending to something or something changing. Let's see. Show me Pisces energy right now, please. Queen of Pentacles. This is uh, taking care of the self, the home. Um, nurturing. It's loving. It's dependable. It's safe. Um, it's grounded, okay, and, and secure. So you could be feeling that energy right now. You could have your money right and all kinds of stuff too, okay? What's the potential challenge? Potential challenge could be some sort of uh, compatibility or work situation where you're dealing with, um, you know, more than one person that you need to work with, okay? Uh, so there could be a challenge really working as a team or coming together with somebody, okay? Talk to me about the near future or the potential outcome here. What's the outcome? Judgment. There could be a final judgment on something here. You're making up your mind about something. Um, this could sometimes talk about a second chance too. Uh, for some of you, I see your health is very good too. So that's a positive note. All right. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. All right. That's laying them heavy troubles down. All right, so uh, it looks like something that's been a pain in your ass might not be a pain in the ass anymore. We'll see what happens. All right, Pisces. All right, what's the death card, please? What's the death card? Okay. Okay, looks like something's changing. You're getting recognized for something here with the Six of Wands. Okay, and the Sun. So it could be that your mood is changing. Your position or your fame could be changing, like people could be really recognizing you or seeing you the next couple of days, okay? You're really uh, shining. Your mood may be going from a really dull sort of dim mood, a dark mood, to a lighter and happier mood, okay? Because you may be getting out and meeting people this weekend, okay, or the next couple of days. Whenever you see this, <laughs> I need to stop being like, the weekend. All right. All right, what else, please, about this Scorpio energy? Death again. Okay, so something definitely ending and or changing here. Let's ask again, what is ending and or changing? A work situation, okay? Some sort of situation where there's a couple of people involved in it, all right? So I'm going to say that I feel like maybe some of you are moving on to a new job, Okay, where people appreciate you and see you see your value and your worth here. Okay, I feel like something's complete. It's over with. It's done, and you're happy about it, and you're moving forward here. Things are changing, and the nature of your uh, job. It seems like okay. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Now that could just be one separate message. We'll see. You're getting something. You're getting maybe the money you've been asking for for quite a while. Um, and if it's not that, I feel like maybe you're starting something. Some of you could be starting your own business. And right away, it's like you're getting clients, okay? Aquarius energy. What else with this Queen of Pentacles? <sighs> Be aware of anybody you go into some sort of partnership with, okay? I feel like there's somebody around you that's talking about you behind your back or trying to manipulate you, okay? Because they see that you're going to do well for yourself or you are doing well here, all right? Just be, be aware to protect your energy from people taking advantage of you here, okay? There could have been somebody on the job who was doing that, all right? Some of you could be feeling good because you've left a third party situation, okay? Because I do have a Three of Pentacles and I have a Queen of Wands. A Queen of Wands can be a mistress type, okay? Somebody that somebody 
would be going out of the relationship to have any kind of relations with you feel me yeah okay so maybe you were maybe you're happy there's like the calm after the storm here things calming down but i feel more that some of you might be might feel good that you found something out here okay what's the three of pentacles as a challenge what's the three of pentacles as the challenge please yeah 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 okay uh, protecting yourself maybe in some sort of separation here okay the challenge might be splitting up with somebody um, there could be a third party energy here for sure and somebody may want to hold on to you why is the three of pentacles the challenge please why is this the challenge yeah you may be back and forth about uh, some of you may be back and forth about um, walking out of this uh, walking out of this connection you have here because there may be a financial reason you're staying there you know maybe you can't afford to leave right now or your person can't afford to leave somebody was m manipulating somebody or trying to do something here why do we have judgment please why do we have judgment as the outcome Yeah, there's a tower here. Somebody is ending a long-term relationship. They're making a final judgment about this, okay? They have plans for the future that seem like they don't include somebody here. What else about the judgment with the Knight of Pentacles? Yep, heartbreak. Okay. You could be um, you could be moving on from something here and ending some sort of either you had the third party like you were dealing with a third person and now you've got to kind of break their heart and they don't want to let this go because maybe I mean people are always meeting up on like weird apps where it's like I'm married you're married let's do this okay so you could be in one of those situations with somebody or you found out about somebody that your person could be uh could have been messing with or talking to here okay for some of you i do feel like you are ending some sort of job position uh but you're like where's my damn severance package okay don't fuck me around here i want my money okay give me my money i worked here i was a partner in this law firm okay don't make me get karen in this bitch i feel like there could be something like that okay any additional message from for from pisces for pisces here please any additional message that pisces needs to know please thief what did i say there could be somebody who has been trying to manipulate and or take advantage here right um, could be in some sort of convenient type of relationship, okay? Or there's a company here that's not trying to give you money that's owed to you for whatever reason, okay? Let's say it's your severance or your 401k. All right, why is the thief here? Yeah, look. Somebody's got money, okay? So be aware that there's people here that look at you like an opportunity, okay? Because this isn't just about a roadblock. There could be somebody that is trying to set you up for something and create, uh, you know, a block for you financially, right? So be careful with who you might be talking to over the weekend or whenever you see this the next few days and investing your money with this person, okay? Because they could do some weird trickle effect type shit. You know, do your research. Do your research before you make any decisions about who you might invest your money with here, okay? All right, so that's what I got for you, Pisces. If any of this did resonate, please make sure you smash the love button for your girl, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.